Jeff Howard here from KiteBoarding.com and fixed my kite. Now, we've been repairing kites and bars and lines for many, many years and we've got a lot of questions or questions from customers who like to get the information so they understand what can be fixed, how to fix it, what they need to do, and what to look for on their bar and lines. Now, the most important thing I like to tell people is understand this. Your bar and lines is your only connection to your kite. If there's something wrong with it or lines are wear and tear or anything else, you will lose control of that kite. So it's very, very important. A lot of people inspect that kite, but they don't look at their bar, their safety lines and fly lines, chicken loops and everything else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a few pinpoints of what you should look at and how it can be replaced and how it can be fixed. So down here below, I've got some information. Now, the first thing I'm going to explain to you is about fly lines. Now, this is a very well-used fly line set. As you can see here, here's the sleeving wearing down. Now, sleeving is on the fly line for wear and tear. Spectra can't take a lot of abuse, so they actually wrap it with sleeving, so it actually takes the abuse. So if this is starting to happen on your fly lines, make sure to either inspect it, and if you want to, get it replaced. If you want it replaced, it's very easy to replace. If you know how to do the stitching, we do that here as well. The other option is if there is no wear and tear on the actual spectra, add a set of uh, pigtails onto this. Adding a set of pigtails will take all the wear and tear off of the ends of these fly lines and you won't have any problems. Now, to get those replaced, there's a couple instances. If you need these replaced, we will actually take your fly lines, shorten them down slightly, basically cut them off, even them out, and add brand new sleeving to the ends of the fly lines. That's about $5 a piece. So that is, any, anything is possible, we can do that here. Now, the other day I had a customer call in and said, well, he broke his line right at the end of the fly lines. Not a problem. He didn't understand. Get those fly lines to us. We actually will lop them off, cut them off here all even, make sure to check them, add on some new sleeving, the exact colors that you need, fold them back over, get them stitched so they're ready to rock and roll. Fly lines wear and tear. If you look on here, you'll see a little bit of fraying on the fly line. It's very hard to see in some of it, but this is a well-used fly line. That line is still has a lot of strength left into it. This is only outside fraying. Your, your major core on the internal of that line is still very strong. Now, the big thing is, is these, these do, if they start wrapping up, they will get friction on top of each other. But you know what? Fly lines, you don't replace them very often, and you should. Give them at least a year, two years, get a new set of fly lines. If the bar is in still real good shape, move on, upgrade. I cannot tell people enough that is your safety link. Now, one thing I like to explain to people that they don't understand is inside of your chicken loop, you will see I got three of them here. This is a black tubing. Almost all of them now have gone to this black tubing. Internally inside of here, look at the shaping of this one. This is a well-used chicken loop. And what I like about it is the clear part. What is happening inside of here, the spectral line is in here to take the load, but people don't understand, when you hook in right here and you can see these bends in this loop, that is actually wearing and tearing that line in there, and I have seen that line break. So if you start to see a consistent inside of here, a smashing down of the line, be wary. You know what, these things will last you a long time, but you give it a couple years, you know, two to three years, you need to keep an eye on that and you can't see it in these black tubings. So when it happens, it happens, and when it goes bad, then it, most of these are replaceable on all of these chicken loops. It's a small investment of safety, get that replaced. Now, a few other little things. We actually can replace chicken loop line. Chicken loop line, here's one. As you can see, there's got some fray on it. Now the rating of this line is well into the thousands of pounds and can take that. So that small amount of wear that's on that line right there is nothing major. That's not about to break by any means. Now if you get a cut in here and you start seeing it fray where it's halfway in, you definitely need to get that replaced. We have full replacement chicken loop lines for about every single brand out there. Uh, here's one for the best. It's a slide in, ready to go chicken loop line. Uh, we have them for the older slingshot slingshot and some of the newer systems. Now on this air rush you will see that they have theirs as a custom one which sometimes it can be a pain but they don't have to be replaced very often because they're totally covered with a PVC plastic here, a vinyl type plastic and it keeps a lot of wear and tear down on those. Um, but clean these out definitely and look for those chicken loop lines and get them replaced. Now on here on your old slingshot a lot of people don't understand it inside of here is a bearing these bearings will corrode and rust out, give them a couple of years. They don't understand that this is supposed to spin really easy and simple. Get this replaced. 
We have the line that's easy to pull up inside of these systems and replace it. We know the whole steps. Give us a call if you need to buy one. Get the bearing on there. It is specifically installed inside of there. So look for the safety little things like that on your bar. Don't overestimate the safety of your system and what the wear and tear is because this is your link to your kite and for all of your safety. So if you ever have any questions or curiosity, send us some photos, get with us on FixMyKite.com and we can get it all repaired, replaced and fixed and get you back on the water and keep, keep the safety and all your release systems working correctly. That's Jeff Howard here at KiteWarning.com and FixMyKite to keep you on the water and riding better.